Good morning. This is the old mechanic. What do we got here? We got a real Triumph Tiger XRX. An 800 triple cylinder. It's from a good friend of mine. He asked me to do some maintenance on it. An oil change, a brake fluid change. How is that done? Of course the old mechanic will guide you through the process. It's easy with my video and with the right tools. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. What can I say about this Triumph? I really like it. It's a nice bike, made very well. If you look at the details, it's a well designed motorcycle. Me and my friend, we did a lot of kilometers together, still do. Um, I remember a year ago uh, he wanted to get new tires on his Triumph. And he asked me about what my experience was uh, with the tires I have on my R1200 GS and I told him I got 100% road tires so not the mud road tires but 100% road tires I have the Michelin Road 5 Trail um, and he wanted to know what my experience was with them. And I said, well, I really like them. So he said, good plan. And he went for the, the Michelin's Road 5 Trail 2. And he's very happy with it. So there was a short comment. But now, this is the Triumph. Nice bike, like it. And now, first, I'm gonna lift it up. I have a motor lift. And then I'm gonna show you how to do an oil change yourself easy with my video. So, come over and I'm gonna show you. To do an oil change. On a Triumph, what do we need? Of course, we need a new copper ring. And it's, let's see, 14 mil. Then, to get the the engine protection of the bike, we need a wrench 12 mil. You can use this or when you crack them loose, use a ratchet. Okay. To get the oil plug out, we need an Allen socket of 8. And Perhaps a ratchet for this one. And you need the top wrench to get the oil filter off. And this one is FN005. 005 with some very interesting Chinese signs. So, this comes from China too. What does what doesn't these days? Of course. Of course we need a torque wrench. So we can torque the oil filter and 
the oil drain plug. So I got this one, but perhaps I need my smaller one for the oil filter. This one goes from 5 to 25 newton meters. And this one goes from 19 to 110. So, but I think that the drain plug, I'm gonna need this one, I think. And for the other, I'm gonna use this one. And of course, we need oil. Here. I told my friend to get the parts. And he asked me which oil shall I take. Well, I always use Castrol, even from my uh, Beamer 10W40. Never had a problem with it. On my Beamer, my oil use that the engine does is absolutely minimal. I think. 100 cc, 150 cc, I have to fill every thousand kilometers. So that's for a boxer, seems to be really good. And I always use this oil. So also for the Triumph, Castrol, Castrol. Power RS 10W40. This is 4 liters, uh, that should be enough. Of course what we also need is an oil filter, of course. This one is from High Flow Filtro, it's the HF204. And I always use filter from this brand um, simply because, because I never had any problems with it. These are good and uh, they got uh, a German certification, if that's the right word, TÜV. And it says TÜV. Type tested and production monitored to meet or exceed all OE specifications. So let's go. I put two straps on the frame with this one as we're gonna put the uh, the motorcycle up. On the on the lift, um, I never trust lifts as sort of stuff. So I always be on the safe side. I use my electric winch to be sure that nothing terrible happens. So there is my winch. Over here it is. So, take this off. Then lower. I think this is him. No! Ah! <laughs> So, now, jack it up a bit. So, just in case. Now, we're going to lift the bike up. Over here, we have, it's uh, sort of in the middle. I can open this. There is my the 
handle. Put it in here. Get this one out. Comes up. And now can I stand with my feet over there? Maybe I can close it. Now let's do it. I got my stove on. Nicely warm in here with my special van on top to blow all the heat around my tiny little shed. So first thing we're gonna do is get the bottom protection, the engine protection off. I got a wrench and a plastic thing for the bolts. Now, first, this one, oh, it has blue Loctite. This one. Okay. For the oil plug, which is in here, it could stay on, but when you get the oil filter off, I'm sure everything's gonna leak onto the uh, the protection. Uh, don't want that. Okay, this one. Ratchet. Yep. One and then another one over here. Kijk it. Yes. Lower it a bit so you can see it better. Pop up the knee there. Over here, <laughs> man. Yep, and two more here, and these are bolts, the other ones were nuts. To be careful, it's gonna drop. Not yet. <laughs> oh, there it is off. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Put it over there. So, it's better, eh? I got a light. Okay, watch. Meep, meep, meep. Over there it is. A LED light. Get 
the stuff out of the way. And let's see over here. That's the one. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. So this is my uh, waste oil bug. Always clean it. Now that's me. Can't help it. So we get it underneath and now an Allen socket of eight and a ratchet then give it a tiny but good smack Hop. see take a cloth so turn it around over here I can put my bolt a cloth Uh, by the way, I already warmed up the engine. It's it's nice, warm, not hot. Otherwise, burn my fingers. Eén, twee, there it comes. Papa. Don't forget. To loosen this one when you drain the oil and if it's too tight kijk, I always use this one carefully out here hop see and it's already say Kestrel which is my favorite brand hop hop now now let it drain for a while. Over here is the oil filter. To get the oil filter off, I'm going to use this one. So. Now Watch. This is from the other side, so you can see what I made. I made those two bars so I can easy put an oil filter in to let it empty. Is this always be sure that it's a bit of secure and then just up. And as you see, now you're draining the oil pockets too. But be careful. This side up. Yep. And as you see, more oil comes out. So you drain it really fully. And hold it like this for a few hours. <laughs> Hour or two, three, 
Nah, just as you are comfor comfortable with. So. And then up. And see. Up, more oil flows out. That was just a quick tip. You don't have to do it. But when I'm doing an oil change, I want all the oil, old oil, out. So that's why I do it. Now we wait. What we also need is the official service manual of this Triumph. You don't need it because I'm going to tell you exactly what the torques are for the drain plug and the oil filter. The drain plug, the oil drain plug needs to be tightened with 25 newton meters and the oil filter with 10. So, let's start with the oil drain plug. First, we're gonna clean it. Then, I cleaned the oil drain plug, get a new copper washer on top of it then we take the allen socket uh, 8 and screw it in so quickly give it just a bit so it doesn't leak okay carefully tied it see there's a drip Hanging here. The drain plug needs to be torqued to 25. So this one starts at 19. So it's 19 plus 6. That's 6. Now. Ow. Hop, put it down. That's 25. Then my famous crayon to mark it so I know it's torqued. Now let's do the oil filter. Over there is the oil filter where it need to be screwed in first we're gonna clean it of course nice so it's good even so then we take the oil filter This one, this one off, and now we always lubricate first the rubber ring with some motor oil. This is uh, the same castrol, goes in, up, 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 up. I always love to do the thread also, don't know why, but. Now we oh. yes nice screw it on and this has to be tightened with ten 
Newton meters. So, we need my other one. This is my smaller one. It starts at 5. And then over here we have 7, 9. Um, even kijk, that's 9. That's 9. Plus 1. Okay. The Dop it then ah. okay. To get the damn thing off. Use a ratchet of an, uh, a wrench. Just see, up, easy. Get my crayon. Market torqued. We are on this side of the Triumph. This is where we're gonna pour the oil in. Needs to be somewhere. Eh? Screw this out. Place it on a clean. Then we have a funnel. It's always a good practice to clean out the funnel. I always do. Then I take a piece. Put a screwdriver up, and now it's perfectly clean. We're gonna put it over there. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. So, and now we start pouring in the oil. We're gonna clean this one out too, so we have a good view. Then we take the oil and start pouring in oil carefully. Nicely up here. The first time I always fill just a tiny bit more as the engine is all empty now. So pour in just a bit, bit more. Up. See. Up, up, up. Okay. Now we going to get the funnel off. I put it in the oil can. Up. Then. Now I'm going to start up the engine. Let it Ok, 
I just closed the door as I don't uh, want to heat up the rabbits uh, outside. Eh? Only uh, the heat has to stay in here. <laughs> I think it needs some more oil. I'm going to show you. There are two markers. This one, see? There and there. This, this is the lowest. And this is maximum level. So it needs to be somewhere down the line. So. And now we're going to fill it up. There is a lot of condensation. Wow, watch. So In a moment I'm going to heat it up until it's perfectly on operating temperature. Hop. And this one on top again. Level. Now we're gonna mount the uh, engine protection again. Um, that's easy. I noticed that for the two bolts on the front, Triumph used medium strength Loctite. So that's what we're gonna do too. Got a deep socket. Ideal for this. Yeah. 
Okay. So Triumph used medium strength Loctite. This one, two, four, three. On those two bolts. Okay. And that is good. Also. Now we're going to use my tiny ratchet. So, job done. So, this was my video about how to change your oil on the Triumph XRX. 800 it's easy and with my video you can do it yourself I hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed it making it for you please have a look at my channel subscribe to my channel I really would appreciate that if you do and if you have something to say please put it in the comments Give me thumbs up. And for now, old mechanic out. Oh.